Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two blue shaded uh, squares of different uh, dimensions put together, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, they connect each other at this point uh, D. And moreover, the area of this uh, larger blue square is 50 centimeter square, whereas uh, the area of this uh, smaller blue square is uh, 32 centimeter square and furthermore uh, this uh, segment uh, AB is uh, perpendicular to this uh, larger blue square and now our task is to find the value of this uh, segment uh, AB length. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We are going to find the side lengths uh, of uh, both of these uh, blue squares. And now we are going to focus on this uh, larger blue square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square where S represents the side length. And in our case, uh, the area of this uh, larger blue square is 50. So therefore we can write uh, S square equal to 50, the area. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore the side length uh, S uh, of this larger blue square is going to be 5 times uh, square root of 2 centimeters. So therefore uh, the side length of this uh, larger blue square is going to be 5 times the square root of 2, 5 times the square root of 2, 5 times square root of 2, and finally 5 times the square root of 2 across the board. And likewise we are going to focus on this uh, smaller blue shaded square. And now let's recall once again the area of a square formula. Area is equal to S square where uh, S is the side length. So therefore we can write uh, S square equal to the smaller blue square area is uh, 32. I'm going to undo this uh, square uh, to take the square root. So therefore our side length uh, S of this uh, smaller blue square turns out to be 4 times uh, the square root of 2 centimeter. So therefore uh, this side length turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 and finally 4 times uh, square root of 2 across the board. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle DBC whose uh, side lengths are 4 times square root of 2 and 5 times uh, square root of 2. And we are going to calculate uh, this third uh, leg. So therefore let's recall this well known Pythagorean triplets 3, 4 and 5. And now we are going to multiply by square root of 2 across the board. So therefore our new set of Pythagorean triplets uh, turns out to be 3 times square root of 2 is going to give us 3 times square root of 2. 4 times the square root of 2 is going to give us 4 times square root of 2. And finally 5 times the square root of 2 is going to give us 5 times square root of 2 over here. And now we can see 4 times square root of 2 and 5 times square root of 2 are given. So therefore our uh, this our third uh, unknown side length is going to be 3 times uh, square root of 2. And now since we are interested in calculating the length uh, AB and now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, AB length uh, is going to be the sum of these uh, two segment uh, AP and PB lengths as you can see in this uh, equation and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, AP length uh, equals to 5 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and furthermore I'm going to label uh, this tiny BP segment length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, h so therefore our uh, AB segment length could be written as uh, 
5 times square root of 2 plus uh, h value and now our task is to find the value of uh, h before we could calculate the value of ab and now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, dpc and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, dbc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of uh, this uh, triangle is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 2 and the height of this uh, triangle is 4 times uh, square root of 2 so therefore uh, the area of this triangle uh, dbc is going to be a half uh, times uh, 3 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 and now we can see square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give us simply 2 so therefore we can write down a half uh, times uh, 2 times uh, 3 times uh, 4 and here we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2 they are gone so therefore the area of this triangle uh, dbc turns out to be 12 centimeters square and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this triangle dbc could also be calculated differently its base uh, is uh, this uh, cd length which is 5 times the square root of 2 and the height is uh, lowercase uh, h so therefore we can write down the area of this triangle dbc we already figured out is uh, 12 over here equals to a half uh, times uh, h uh, times uh, 5 times uh, square root of 2 so therefore we can write down uh, 12 uh, equals uh, to 5 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 times uh, h now i'm going to multiply by the reciprocal 2 divided by 5 uh, times square root of 2 on the right hand side and likewise i'm going to multiply on the left hand side by 2 divided by 5 times uh, square root of 2 as well and here everything uh, is gone this is gone this is gone so therefore our height uh, h value simply turns out to be 24 divided by 5 times the square root of 2 and now i am going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by square root of 2 and divided by the square root of 2 at the very same time and here we can see square root of 2 times square root of 2 simply gives us 2 and here we can see 2 goes into 24 12 times so therefore we conclude uh, that our height uh, h value is simply 12 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 5 centimeter and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the value of this uh, ab length uh, and we already figured out our height uh, h value as uh, 12 times square root of 2 divided by 5 so i'm going to substitute that values 12 times square root of 2 divided by 5 over here so therefore our a b segment length is going to be 5 times square root of 2 plus our h value is 12 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 5 and here we can tweak this 5 times square root of 2 as 25 times square root of 2 divided by 5. So therefore our AB segment length finally turns out to be 37 times square root of 2 divided by 5 centimeter. So thus our AB segment length turns out to be 37 times square root of 2 divided by 5 centimeter. And that's going to be approximately equal to 10.47 centimeter as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.